there is an extremely talented running back class that's going to be drafted coming up later this week here in Philadelphia. Leonard Fournette, Christian McCaffrey, Dalvin Cook. The list goes on and on. And if Peterson doesn't strike now with the Saints, and if Blunt doesn't strike now with the Giants, and if, because this is Marshawn Lynch, and he is, you know, the guy who's collecting rent paying in his world, if the Raiders don't convince Marshawn Lynch to sign on the dotted line before the draft, well, then all bets are off. They, they need to know, are we going to go wading into this deep rookie running back pool? And it was very wise of Adrian Peterson to strike that two-year deal with New Orleans. And other than Peterson and presumably Saints fans should be excited about having Adrian Peterson in the backfield here. Uh, ESPN is doing cartwheels because the first Monday night football game of the year, the top of the doubleheader to wrap up week number one, happens to be Saints versus Vikings. How amazing is that? It's unbelievable that Adrian Peterson is going to open the season in Minnesota after all. And the worldwide leader, I'm sure, is doing cartwheels. They must have their they'll have their uh, promos ready right here, right now for all of that. And believe it or not, the Saints play the NFC North this year. So Peterson will also go back to Green Bay, where, as you know, he has had a heck of a career. Year in, year out, they'll bring the Lions to their house. And, you know, they visit the Vikings and the Bears are coming to the Superdome. It's just going to be amazing in that regard. But I think this is a good signing. Everything that you read about this um, shows that the Saints can plug Adrian Peterson right into the Tim Hightower spot. Hightower got about 170 carries, a ton of touches. Um certainly when they gave about 200-plus to Mark Ingram. You're going to see Peterson on first and second down on a couple of series, and then Ingram's going to be – look, if Ingram wanted to be the main bell cow, this isn't good. He's not happy about this. But all that said, what they did last year with Hightower and what they did with their running back crew last year worked out. And Drew Brees, who no doubt was disappointed to lose Brandon Cooks to the New Orleans uh, – to the New England Patriots – has got to be thrilled that he's going to have Adrian Peterson and Mark Ingram behind him. And in terms of this combination, in the history of the National Football League, Drew Brees is the current active passing touchdown leader, and Adrian Peterson is the NFL's active rushing touchdown leader. Only one time in the history of the National Football League has a team had the passing and rushdown, rushing touchdown leaders on the same team. Can you give us a decade? Sure. The 1980s. And I'll give you one more hint. We're in the home state of that team. So the Steelers. Correct. Yeah, we're not talking Jaworski and and Bradshaw and Franco Harris. Wow. Wow. 1983 Steelers. Wow. So the Saints are loading up. And I'll tell you, New Orleans fans, you got to be happy about it. This is exciting. Now, if, what if they pull the trade? They pull the trade from Malcolm Butler. Sure, off that side of the ball. And last year, they had one of the best uh, rushing attacks. Quietly, the Saints have rebuilt that offensive line for Drew Brees. I might be smelling a sleeper team. Yeah, Saints fans NFC. should definitely be happy today. This is a happy day in New Orleans. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.